Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It's Francesco here and in today's video we're going to go over the best 9 calendar applications as we go into 2021. So the first on our list is actually my go-to application for calendar is Woven. The reason I like this application is because it reminds me of an application called Sunrise. It's an application that looks fantastic in terms of its design, but the one thing I really love about it was something that was available in Sunrise, which is scheduling links. It's all embedded in your calendar, so if you want to organize a meeting, but want to choose specific times, you can use the scheduling links to help organize that. It's one of my favorite features, and they do have a few more when it comes to sharing with groups, and it is a free application, although they do have a premium experience, which is $10 per user per month. Next up is Fantastical 3. Now, this application has recently gone to subscription at $39.99 a year, which seems a little bit pricey, but they do design a fantastic application in this. The design is definitely a leading experience. You can download it for Mac, and iOS on this subscription. And boy, does it look good. It has a range of ways you can view your calendar. It also has a connection with applications like Todoist. And if you're someone that quickly likes to write up your events that's coming up, it uses smart date passing to help you to organize that into your calendar. Number three is Google Calendar. Now this is available on iOS, Android, web, and also is pretty much the default calendar experience for many people. But it definitely has to be said, the web experience is really nice to use. And they've added some great video conferencing connection abilities in the last few months, especially for Google Workspace users. So for example, if you're using Google Calendar in a workspace, you'll also be able to connect with other applications in the right-hand panel. You can connect with Google Keep, Google Tasks, and even get integrations with Google Calendar, and even get integrations with Gmail as well. This application is free as well, and of course, the iOS application and Android applications look as good. So number four, this is an application from Moleskin Studio, and it's called Time Page, and was one of my old calendar applications, and I used it because it was so damn attractive on iOS. That's the problem with it. It's iOS only. However, it has a fantastic design. The application is, however, under a subscription plan, which is $1.99 per month. However, you do get three applications within that subscription. So if you want to tie yourself into the Moleskin experience, I guess beefier applications like Fantastic Hour 3, then this might be the application for you. As I said, the design is gorgeous. I would say it's probably one of the best looking applications on the market it on par with Fantastic Hour 3 and it does have some great abilities like the way you can get updates on when to leave for certain events, the weather and much more detail especially with follow-up as well. So next up in number five is Calendars 5. So Calendars 5 is actually developed by a company called Readle and it is a beautiful application and it works very well for iOS users. Calendars 5 doesn't have any major features, however it works well, it's very reliable, and as part of the Readle family, it is a great application. Readle also developed PDF Expert and Spark Mail. Number 6 is Time Tree. Now this is an application that's been on the market for a little bit of time now, and it's a very well designed application that helps you connect multiple calendars. What's great is it's free and it does have some really nice abilities when it comes to sharing your calendar with other people. You can create these groups that help you to organize your calendar and link and see other people's calendars at the same time. So if you're looking for a very social focused calendar, this is the one for you. Number seven, it's Outlook Calendar. If you have an Outlook email or you want to connect an application like Gmail to it, then this provides a great calendar experience. It's mainly because Microsoft bought to the company's Sunrise, and as you can imagine, Sunrise had a fantastic design, and so does Outlook Calendar now. It works really well, especially when you've got it connected to Microsoft 365. However, if you're using it with a basic Outlook account, it still works fantastic, bringing in even your Google calendar events. Number eight, if you're looking for a Fantastic Hour 3 like experience on Mac, but you don't want to play the consistent fee every single year, then this is a great option. BusyCal 3 is priced at $49.99 and has a very similar design to the application, but you only have to pay one off. A lot of people like to use it and it's a fan favorite amongst business users. 
And number nine, as we come to our closing recommendation, we have Cozy. Now this is more of an all-round calendar application, but much more suited for your family. Now Cozy is actually a family organized app, and if you wanted to use it to organize all of your family's events, as well as getting your family to download the application to get started, then this could be a great application for you. So I wanted to give a shout out to some of the applications, the calendar applications that are coming in 2021. Now I wanted to first give a shout out to Ami. You can go and visit ami.so and find out more about this application, but it's really a pseudo application because it actually blends to-do lists with your calendar, much like Sunsama does. However, it looks really nice. It's gonna be available on web and mobile, and it's apparently gonna be rolling out on Android, Apple devices, and web. Later this year, if you're watching this at the start of 2021, it should be in the new year available. It looks really nice, and it could be an interesting take on the calendar experience. Next up as well is Daybridge and it's got a lot of investment behind it as well as hype as well because it's a really attractive looking application and it integrates with all of your other experiences as well. So if you wanted to connect it to your flight plans, if you have any, <laughs> and also other applications that you may be using like task managers, then this could be the application for you. A lot of people are calling this the new new sunrise, which could be quite exciting in 2021. So next year does look bright for calendar applications, but these are our nine best calendar applications. We hoped you enjoyed today's feature. Please do make sure to subscribe if you want more productivity tool reviews. Anyway, folks, have a fantastic day and we'll see you soon. Cheerio.